For the first time, scientists have used the gene editing technology known as CRISPR inside a patient. The groundbreaking procedure was performed in Oregon. The microscopic gene editing tool was injected directly into the eye of someone who is nearly blind. Scientists hope to restore sight by editing DNA from inside the person's body. Traditionally, doctors remove cells when using the CRISPR technique. The genes are then edited in a lab before being returned to the body. But if this new approach is successful, experts say it could revolutionize treatment for an array of diseases. Joining me now from San Francisco is Dr. Eric Pierce. He's a professor of ophthalmology at Harvard Medical School, and he's the director of the Inherited Retinal Disorder Service at Massachusetts Eye and Ear. Dr. Pierce is also leading a study into the CRISPR technique. So, Dr. Pierce, I have to say that this sounds incredible. Please tell us more about the condition of the Portland patient and how scientists use the CRISPR technique in a completely new way. Well, you're right. We're really excited about this trial and the ability to use CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing to treat inherited disorders such as inherited blindness. The focus of this study is inherited blindness due to mutations in a gene called CEP290. And just as you described in your introduction, the gene editing technology is directed at removing the mutation in the sub-290 gene, which causes it to dysfunction, leading to decreased vision. So when do you expect to see results in this patient? So based on other studies of gene therapies we're doing for inherited types of blindness, we would hope to see improvement within the next two to four weeks that could continue to accrue up to three to four months. And then um, how long until the CRISPR technique is, is then employed in other types of uh, procedures? And, and I'm also wondering, as you're leading this study based on, uh, on this procedure, what are some of the other conditions that could potentially benefit? So there are already studies going on in labs around the country, around the world, to develop the use of CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing and related technologies to treat other forms of inherited blindness and other inherited diseases like Duchenne muscular dystrophy or inherited forms of dementia. So we're hoping that if we get this right, if we can show that using gene editing in vivo is safe and effective, that it will quickly be adopted to treat multiple other forms of genetic disease. This is this is incredible, groundbreaking research um, with such uh, such potential. I mean, when you hear something like dementia, inherited dementia, um, multiple, uh, mul uh, sorry, um, not, I'm thinking multiple sclerosis, but uh, you said, but you said <laughs> muscular dystrophy. Muscular dystrophy. Um, That's right. Yes, but uh, but other techniques that have a genetic component. Um, I, I I can't help but think that that even as this is so exciting, there are some detractors. There are some people who feel like gene editing has moral ramifications. Is that something that you've encountered? You know, we heard about that related to other gene editing procedures, but in this case, we're doing what's called somatic editing that is only treating a particular part of the body, the retina, to treat a serious disease. In our, in our discussions with bioethicists, we have confirmed that there really aren't ethical concerns about that. So this is different than trying to edit the germline where changes could be inherited. This is not what's going on in our study. So the limitations of editing these genes could not potentially be passed on to another generation? Is that what I'm hearing no, from that's you? Correct. That's correct. We're fixing, the goal is to fix the gene in the retinas of the treated patient, but this wouldn't produce an inheritable change in their genome. Fascinating stuff. Dr. Eric Pierce, thank you. Thank you very much. Pleasure to join you. And a quick note, we discussed gene editing and CRISPR in the CBSN Originals documentary, Playing God, The Ethics of Editing Your DNA. You can stream it at any time at cbsnews.com slash genetics.